help Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Now we want to discuss um, the coming of Hamas in Nigeria. And people are fidgeting, they are afraid. How are we going to do? Because this Hamas is a non terrorist group. They are jihadists to the core, killing innocent people, women, and aged. You know, they tried Israel, but they saw hell. Now they are crying. They are running to Nigeria to come to form allied forces against God's people. You see them burning Israel um, flag in Nigeria. Nigeria government is sponsoring these people against Israel and against Biafra. And now our Prime Minister has this to say that the coming of Hamas will even make Biafra to come faster because we need to defend our land. That is why we should declare Biafra faster than before. Listen, I want to link you to this conversation so that you yourself will hear it from Prime Minister. Thank you very much. Move forward. Thank you, sir. Uh, believe me, the presence of Hamas will facilitate Biafra. If Biafra is going to come in 90 days, the presence of Hamas will make Biafra come in 80 days. And I want to make it very clear, we may declare Biafra before October. Wow! Depending on what is on ground. So as they are calculating, we are calculating too. Thank you. Uh, they all gave. So that's the update. So that's why uh, His Royal Majesty couldn't come in, but uh, they are faced with challenges. The same with Elder Ocon of uh, Kua State. Uh, there is some issues also with, uh, with Mike. So that's what I have here, but uh, in all, they all appreciate. We are all very happy. Uh, Africa is happy uh, that our prime minister, you know, with all the tour, uh, never forgot Africa. That's the most important thing. And for Africa to do this uh, and for prime minister to come, it shows that, uh, uh, hey, uh, Biafra, is the solution to Africa problem. And once again, welcome our PN. We are very proud of you. And uh, hopefully all these states will find a way to show their gratitude and support and stand by you and our, our leader, Mazi Namdi Kanu, 100%. Be rest assured about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, please, uh, <clears throat> everyone that have issues to use their microphone, it's a network issue, and uh, if you want to make donation, just send the message to the, the person you are able to communicate with, and then we'll make the announcement. Thank you so much. Uh, David, unmute yourself. You have a mic. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you once again. Uh, my Prime Minister, please, I just have two questions. I know you are tired. You have been here for a long time. I don't know if I can ask the two questions or I can I can just ask one. My question goes like this, sir. Thank you for coming to Africa, at least to awaken the spirit of some of our brothers who are still, they are still sleeping. My question goes like this. Two days ago, you have a joint spacing. You have a joint spacing with uh, the Ambazonian Governing Council Chief Cho Ayaba, and in that space, you were able to enumerate the report of the ICG, the International Crisis Group. I want to ask you what is what, what is the significance of that ICG report as regards to the Biafra and Ambazonia Alliance? in relation to the Biafran restoration, sir. Thank you very much. It is very important that as long as much as they are trying to ignore what is going on in Nigeria and Biafra, that particular report 
has brought the Biafra liberation to the limelight. In as much as they are trying to ignore and avoid mentioning it, it is there. It can never be ignored. And that's exactly what it is. For you to have an independent and uh, succeed at the point you must be the topic of discussion in the international stage and this is the beginning for the international stage the discussion has now got into the african union our target is to go to global stage the global stage is when cnn when new york times when wall street journals all this mainstream media start talking about it it goes to the people that do not know what was going or what is going on including to the citizens ordinary citizens who are the one voting the representative to power they will begin to read about their friend what is going on so we, that is the next space we are going and this particular report is the first the beginning of the global discussion of Biafra. And one thing I have to tell our people is that there is no awareness of media that is negative. You know what you are doing, no matter how they want, no matter how they want to bring your your activities negatively to the public, there is nothing like negative awareness. People will still go and read and begin to pay attention to what is happening. And at the end of the day, it does not matter what they wrote, they will find the truth by themselves. So it is a very welcome development. The only thing is that as they are trying to do the bid of the sponsors, we will be very, very visible in the media to correct them. That's what the uh, joint uh, space with uh, uh, Dr. Cho Ayaba, our intention is to make sure we put culpability where culpability is. By uh, discussing it, where they have erred, where we believe that they deliberately trying to malign what we are doing by not even spelling the Biafra very correctly. They wrote deliberately a different name on that document, which does not even mention Biafra. But by reading it, you will go and start finding out who are those separatists in Nigeria. Who and who the Dambazonia went into alliance in Finland. So by the time you go and start reading about it, you will find out that they were actually talking about Biafra government in exile. The Biafra government in exile was not mentioned. They deliberately wrote something that doesn't exist. So, like I said, there is nothing negative. In as much as we don't agree with them, it is still the awareness that we need. And the international discussion have started from that particular report. That's how it starts. And we need more of negative reports like that. Like I said, nothing is negative when it comes to a movement like this. So we need more of them. Even if they say someone is a human being, they then write it. I'm not bothered. Because somebody will go and start reading about someone and they will find out the truth. And so uh, we are very, very happy and uh, pleased to see that that the discussion is already on. We can't discuss Ambazonia without talking about Biafra. You can't talk about the region, instability in the region without talking about Biafra. It is not possible. So the same way that the Ambazonia uh, is being in the uh, on the discussion of the of the AU because they have declared independence, you know, a few years ago. They are fighting for it. So you can never discuss that without bringing Biafra in. And that's why that particular alliance is very, very important. And today, the alliance is what they fear most because they know the importance of the alliance. That we're able to build that particular strong relationship, defeating what they did to us in the 67, between 67 and 70, and at the same time, making sure we control our territory giving each other support in arms and all intelligence report and all that. So it is something, a first step to the liberation of Biafra. And that discussion has started at the right level.
at the right time, which is the African Union. Thank you. Thank you so much, my PM. I so much love that your response. It has cleared some doubting Thomases who don't actually know that there are a lot of positive outcomes from that report. Then my second question goes like this, my PM. The presence of the Hamas leader in Nigeria, does it portend any danger to our volunteers on ground and the restoration or the liberation of Biafra going forward? Thank you, sir. Uh, believe me, the presence of Hamas will facilitate Biafra. If Biafra is going to come in 90 days, the presence of Hamas will make Biafra come in 80 days. And I want to make it very clear, we may declare Biafra before October. Wow! Depending on what is on ground. So as they are calculating, we are calculating too. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. That's all my question. Thank you. Oh, the word go Hey! I don't even Oh my God! To Africa PM That is why Africa have come to join what is happening. My PM sir, I'm very humbled by your presence today. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. before you take over, uh my is me from Ghana. Unmute yourself. You have the mic. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Um, this uh, is regarding concerning the last uh, meeting at uh, Finland. I, I wanted to, I wanted to come, but uh, they said that the African was not given any slot to be there. So, but this coming one, I want to be there. So I'm pleading. It is my humble and passionate uh, plea to our Prime Minister, if you can grant me that request. Follow your units. Huh? And follow your units. Get approval. Hello. Your... Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear the PM? Hello. My son, can you hear the PM? Gonna admin. Gonna admin. I'm a. I'm gonna. I'm gonna admin. Yes, you can call. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, over to you, please. Over to you. Okay, my Minister of Information. Thank you very much, sir. Um, the question and answer is done, and um, I think um, our PM. Um, have um, the final uh, word from him so that um, I think since no one is raising, raising their hands, I think um, we've done our best. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Africa. You people have done well today. It has been a very successful talk. And uh, I thank you all for your resilience, your sacrifice up to this point. And then, of course, the entire cabinet that are here with me for how many hours now i thank you all uh the uh, struggle continues tomorrow tomorrow is the so is uh, again another fundraising and very soon we are also going to gather again in north and uh, south america on the 25th of this month so 
I'll see you all tomorrow and I'll see you all again on the 25th. I thank you all for being part of this. So may God bless all of you for your generosity and your support. We will continue to make sure that our land is protected and those who come to kill our people will die. From here, from me, is good evening. I hope you listen to this point. Yes, because if you listen to this point, you find out that we have more reasons to declare Biafra. The fear is how prepared are we to defend it? Because the moment Biafra is declared today, you see Hamas, you see all the, you know, Islamic uh, jihadists. They will come because they want to subdue Nigeria to take it over. That's exactly their target. And then we have to be double ready, like double ready. Whatever they are planning, we should plan ahead of that so that we'll be able to finish, finish them at once and uh, have our freedom. Biafra must come. It's our, it's our territory and we must have to defend it. Thank you very much for your time. God bless you.